Joining me now on the decision to invest in the race, T-Mobile U.S. CEO, Mike Sievert, good to see you. Thanks, Sarah, great to be here. So you guys are going in here to Vegas. It's new and in a very big way, why? Well, uh, we're really proud. I mean, we're one of the presenting sponsors uh, of the race here, working with the Las Vegas Grand Prix. And uh, look, this this sport is blowing up. I mean, that you know, you've been covering that incredibly the last few days. I checked out the uh, documentary last night. Great job. That was Thank a great you. look at what's happening with this sport. And you know, and it's, it's companies like yours that that led me to do that because businesses, big and small, want to take advantage of the growth. Absolutely. You know, and for us, we, you know, we're a big sponsor of sports. We have to be. We're one of the biggest marketers in the country. But what we try to look for in sponsorships is where can we do more than just get our name out there? I think people know the name T-Mobile and what we stand for. What we're trying to do is showcase the unique capabilities of our world-leading 5G network. And as the presenting sponsor of this race, we're powering all of the track connectivity for the race. These are thousands of employees taking care of hundreds of thousands of guests. And do you know in Las Vegas right now, the average Average download speed customers are, are getting is over 900 megabits per second. And we're powering not just obviously connectivity for all the fans, but through a unique 5G network slice, the operations of the race itself. I, I think of the F1 customer as a higher end customer. And certainly in Las Vegas, where some of the prices we haven't seen for tickets, anything like it. And I am curious how that fits into your strategy for going for the value-oriented consumer and increasingly the high-end and corporate consumer. Well, you've got to check out T-Mobile at the Sphere. This is the largest audience section of the race, 25,000 fans, and ticket prices there for tonight were as low as $400. And so this is a really accessible place, but it's also incredible with eight grandstands for entertainment, live shows throughout the race, a unique club magenta for T-Mobile customers with drinks and an incredible view of the track. And it's, of course, a place that's accessible because that's part of what our brand stands for. But also, we are entertaining CIOs and business leaders and showcasing for them what our unique standalone 5G network can do with dedicated 5G networks with a slice of spectrum dedicated to them. And we're showcasing that to them with a hospitality program here because we want the reach of this sponsorship to be that nationwide government and enterprise leaders start to adopt dedicated 5G. Right, you networks. want to bring in more business. Absolutely. So are you increasing marketing and advertising spend in this environment overall? Well, we're pretty consistent marketer. As I said, we're one of the biggest in the country. We have to be. We're one of the biggest brands and we're in an intensely competitive industry. You are. Thankfully navigating very well through all that. Um, but, you know, it's no, we're not increasing it. It's it's sustaining at a very high level. Do you do you do you advertise on X? We we're do. Just having a, a conversation about some of the perils that come with that these days. Well, we do. We advertise across the digital and analog landscape, and I caught some of that this morning. Um, you know, I have to think about all that, but um, you know, we've been in social media for a long time, and as it relates to sports, we're one of the biggest sponsors of sports nationwide. You know, we, we're probably the biggest sponsor of Major League Baseball, and again, in all these sponsorships, what we try to do is showcase our network. You know, with Major League Baseball, we're powering the new automated balls and strikes capability so that the umpire now will have extra information like we all get at home. And now the umpire will get that same information thanks to T-Mobile. Uh, so those are the kinds of things do we do. Do you like care what Elon Musk says as someone who advertises on X? Well, of course. I mean, you know, look, we track all that. And, um, you know, I, I haven't been able to parse what he meant. I saw your coverage of it earlier uh, with there, David. Yeah. Um, so, you know, we need to understand kind of what he meant behind that. Was he talking about one organization? I, you know, yeah. yeah.